they've arrived in the afternoon early and said that they'd be back a few hours later. Uh, media and supporters turned up in a fair degree of force. There are about 50 or uh, people on here, most uh, half of them at least journalists, including the main TV uh, channels and what have you. And they were expected to come. Of course, they didn't because they don't want the coverage. Um, and yeah, so they're meant to be coming tomorrow at 6:30 in the morning. Uh, I'll be expecting them. I'll be ready for them, and presumably they'll cut the flagpole down and cut the bolts off and uh, and cars off. And there'll be another great whacking um, charges and fines and, and what have you. But um, I'm happy to do it. Um, hopefully it's going to attract some more publicity to the case. Hopefully it encourage other people to do more as well. And hopefully it'll inspire people in the area to uh, up the level of protest and, and, and fight. You know, I think it's the right thing to do. So um, whatever the consequences of it, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, when Blair left, he said all schools would become academies or trust schools. And trust schools are just like half controlled by private uh, business and individuals and academies fully controlled. So obviously the process is absolutely clear. You'd, you know, people are not thinking about it, but anybody who reads anything about it and really wants to know should have no illusions. It's going to be privately run education system in this country if they get away with it. And there's been this news that seems to be coming out recently and what the president of the ATL said that the exclusion rates are a lot higher in academy schools. Well of course they're trying to convince people that um, these are better so what better way to do it than by excluding anybody that causes trouble or indeed exclude anybody or don't allow them in if they've uh, got special needs and what have you and that's obviously part of the thing that academies have been doing as well as fiddling the, the results and manipulating the uh, figures and what have you to try and show that they're better but they're not better there's no evidence for that and long term obviously with private people running it what are they interested in they're interested in making money uh, and obviously uh, that's going to be their primary thing and how do you make money by lowering costs pay teachers less already numbers of them don't recognize unions at all the lower paid your workforce is as teachers, the lower quality in terms of exam qualifications and ability and everything else because the really able uh, will be able to get much more money elsewhere and therefore the worse the quality of the teaching force obviously the worse the education and that's the prospect that's going to be the, that's the reality of what's going to occur. Well there, there are three main areas I think that we can, uh, we can get involved in. Uh, one obviously involves the trade unions and taking strike action and that's already started and that needs to be escalated greatly because obviously that is a powerful weapon. There's local elections and it was uh, very heartening that in Barrow and Furness councillors got elected on the basis of say save our schools and I stop academies and uh, 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 they indeed they kicked out the Tory leader who was supporting um, academies there and I think five of them got um, elected so that's one area and the other area is definitely um, direct action obviously that's uh, that's certainly part and parcel of the uh, of the fight and uh, encourage people to do all three basically uh, you, you've had a hell of a lot of support down here though since you've made this what I've been calling the, the last yeah. ditch attempt <laughs> well I, again I, I absolutely have, uh, it may seem like that but I've absolutely faith that this is winnable whether it'll be won or not obviously will depend on the level of resistance not just my own personal act it needs to be a mass thing but nevertheless it is winnable and obviously it should be won and even if it isn't won we've done our bit we've done our best and if you don't try there's no chance of succeeding and the harder we make it for these people to get away with it the more we'll slow them down worry them fright them off and in the end obviously we can stop the whole process and reverse it and put state education back where it belongs, which is in the hands of the people, not private enterprise.